Amen is a word that we say at the end of every prayer. But why do we say it? Tradition? Perhaps. But what if I told you there was a deep meaning to this word and some deep theological implications to it? I'm Aiden, and welcome to A Pastor's Life for Me. Now, before we get into this video, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and that you like this video. Now, I know that I say this every single video and it's sort of like one of those things that we just throw into the video, but it is something that actually really helps me out and really helps this channel out. When you like and subscribe, it helps boost the algorithm and more people see my channel and more people watch my videos. So if you could subscribe and if you could like these videos, I would greatly appreciate it and would also encourage me quite a bit. So for many, many years, so many years that I didn't even look and see how many years exactly, we have been saying amen at the end of our prayers. And of course, a good question to ask about this is why? It seems like something that we should know the answer to. And no, it isn't just some incantation or chant that we magically say at the end of our prayers because of tradition or liturgy or something. Like I said, there is a deep meaning behind it. If you watch our last video on how the word Amen is actually pronounced, you'll know that it is a Hebrew word. And in that video, I stated when that particular word is used in Hebrew, it has the same meaning as it does today. What is that meaning? Well, if you look it up in a dictionary, it'll say, a term used at the end of a prayer to mean, so be it, it is so, or let it be. That's, well, a pretty good explanation, I suppose. Basically, they're stating that you agree with what has been said, and that what was said should come to pass. Now, that actually gives quite a little bit of weight to the word, now doesn't it? Say, for example, somebody prays something that you don't quite agree with it, but then at the end of the prayer, you say, Amen. Are you then contradicting your beliefs? More just something to think about. The topic of beliefs is a good transition, for us though. When we see the word Amen used the 30 times in the Old Testament, it is used as an exclamation, as in, let all the people say Amen. Now this Hebrew word Amen comes from the Hebrew root Amon, which means to believe or to trust. Now in fact, in Genesis 15, when God made a covenant with Abraham, the passage says that Abraham believed God and it was counted to him as righteousness. The word that is translated believe is from the word, you guessed it, Amon. And this passage is picked up multiple times in the New Testament to speak about how our faith is the same faith that Abraham possessed. And it's amazing how this word amen connects to our salvation and how when we say amen at the end of a prayer, it should come out of that salvation. So when we say amen, we are stating, I believe it, may it be so. So then, shall we define it? Let's start that timer. Amen is a term that we use to close a prayer. It is us expressing our faith in God and that he has heard our prayer and that he will answer it according to his will. Amen literally means that we believe and therefore means that we should possess faith by saying it. It is also an expression of something that should be. When we say amen, we are declaring, let it be so. Therefore, we should have a certain amount of caution in our prayers so that we don't rashly ask God for things and then state, so shall it be. Amen also means truly. And in the context of prayer, our declaration of Amen is a declaration that we believe what was said is truth. So I suppose I kind of need to apologize for something I'm about to do. I've been a little bit torn about the lack of videos that I've been putting out over the past couple weeks. So I've been putting in some extra work to get more out this week and more for the upcoming weeks as well. I've also been back to full-time school for the past couple weeks, so I've really had not much time at all, which is the reason for the lack of videos. Plus my health hasn't been great over the past month, month and a half. So anyways, what's the apology for? Well that, but then also I say it at the beginning that Amen has these deep theological implications. And in the definition, I also stated that the word also means truly, but I didn't really go into that. So the apology is that I'm gonna do that in a video for Friday instead of today's video. Now it's a hard decision for me as, you know, I wanna put out more videos, but sometimes that means splitting up one topic that really could just be one longer video into, say, three shorter videos. 
But I hope that you're okay with that. I hope that you look forward to that video coming out and that you enjoyed this one as well. If you did, again, I hope that you click the like button. I hope that you are subscribed and that you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. But that is all for today. And so until next time, remember to know the word, do the word, and share the word. But as always, we do it in love.